Hot spotter technology has picked up more than 1,600 gunshots in Minneapolis in the past 30 days. The yellow and orange dots show where it recorded gunfire. Just this afternoon, eight people were shot over a span of 90 minutes in two separate shootings in North Minneapolis. WCCO's John Lorison joins us now. John, you know, we heard the chief around 6 o'clock saying this cannot become the new normal. Yeah, that's right, Frank. The numbers show that dozens of people have been shot in Minneapolis since George Floyd's death. Tonight, the mayor and the police chief called on additional help to end the violence. It will not be tolerated by our police department, by our chief, by me. Just after 2.30 Monday afternoon, four people were shot near the 1600 block of Morgan Avenue. A mile away and an hour and a half later, four more people were shot at Broadway and Lindale. The shootings prompted Mayor Jacob Fry to call in the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, State Patrol and others for help. That's the ATF, that's the Secret Service, that's FBI for investigative purposes. Where people just uh, settle their disputes by picking up a gun and, and shooting. Chief Madeira Arredondo says the victims on Monday and the majority of victims in Uptown over the weekend are black men. We'll, we'll see high visibility from different law enforcement partners, uh, but we will also see a great increase in the intelligence sharing with all of our partners here. City leaders say officers responding to shootings have had bottles and rocks thrown at them. But at Broadway and Lindale, community activists urge people to partner with police. I absolutely disagree with saying abolish the police. Right now we're living in lawless territory because we've told people to have no respect for the police. Lisa Clemens and Jamar Nelson are with the group A Mother's Love. They want to work with law enforcement to end violence and are upset that city council members want the department disbanded. I think Lisa Bender, the president of the city council, should step down immediately. It's absolutely irresponsible, the things that she's calling for. And again, uh, to abolish the police department, to dismantle them, irreparably harms the black and brown people. And we reached out to City Council President Lisa Bender tonight about the recent shootings, but we did not hear back. Now, the shootings we were at earlier tonight, the 1600 block of Morgan Avenue and also at Broadway and Lindale, we mentioned eight people total were shot there. All are expected to survive, Frank. They all have non-life-threatening injuries. Okay, uh, John, thank you. Well, also in the last 30 minutes, we've learned one person was hurt in a third shooting this evening. This one happened at 25th Avenue and 4th Street in Minneapolis. There was other violence as well today. Just this afternoon, someone died in a stabbing downtown. Police think three men got into a fight and one of them stabbed the other two. The other victim is in critical condition. Police say they have not arrested anyone yet. We'll, of course, continue to track the surge of shootings and violence in Minneapolis. We'll keep you updated on TV and online as we learn more.